When teaching the command of Jesus to be baptized, the following outline might be helpful. Part 1. Looking Back Begin the time in prayer together. After prayer, move on to accountability. Ask questions about commitments that have been made. For example, you could ask, Did you share the story from last week with anyone? Or, did you read or listen to the Bible daily? Or, how did you obey what God taught you? Or, do you have any prayer requests or stories from this week you would like to share? After looking back, move on to part two, looking up. Teach about the command of Jesus to be baptized by studying the Bible together. First, read a time when Jesus gave the command and then discuss a true story which illustrates what obeying that command can be like. Jesus gives the command to be baptized in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20. There it is written, And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, to the end of the age. Jesus gives a clear command to his followers to baptize disciples in his name. Part of following Jesus is being baptized. One place that we see baptism in Scripture is in Acts chapter 8, verses 26 to 39. There it says, Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Rise and go toward the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desert place. And he rose and went. And there was an Ethiopian, a eunuch, a court official of Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who was in charge of all her treasure. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning, seated in his chariot, and he was reading the prophet Isaiah. And the spirit said to Philip, Go over and join this chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked, Do you understand what you're reading? And he said, How can I, unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. Now the passage of scripture that he was reading was this. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and like a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opens not his mouth. In his humiliation justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken away from the earth. And the eunuch said to Philip, about whom, I ask you, does the prophet say this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with this scripture, he told him the good news about Jesus. And as they were going along the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What prevents me from being baptized? And he commanded the chariot to stop, and they both went down into the water, Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord carried Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, and went on his way rejoicing. After reading the story, review the story in one of these ways. You could tell the story from memory, or you could talk about the story. What happened? Then what happened? Then what happened? Or you could tell or read the story again. Or you could draw pictures illustrating parts of the story. After reviewing the story, discuss the following questions based on the story. What do we learn about God? What do we learn about man? What should we not do? And what should we do? After discussing these generic questions, the following may be helpful for this specific story. You could discuss... What is baptism? You could read Romans chapter 6, verses 3 to 4. 
Baptism is a symbol of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. Baptism also means we have died to our old self and have been raised to live a new life with Jesus. Why should we be baptized? You could read Matthew chapter 3, verses 13 to 15. Jesus received baptism, and we should also. Receiving baptism means that we identify Jesus as our Lord. You could also answer the question, who should be baptized? For this, you could read Acts 2, verses 38 to 41. Everyone who repents and believes in Jesus should receive baptism. Another question is, how should we be baptized? You could read Matthew 3, verses 13 to 17. Jesus went down into the water. Baptism should be by immersion in water. After examining scripture together, move on to a time of practice. For any believer who has not been baptized yet, discuss how and where to be baptized. Go and baptize new believers. After a time of practice, move on to part three, looking ahead. Make commitments based on the story. Discuss what to obey from the story and the command of Jesus to be baptized. Some ways to obey are to be baptized for any believer who has not been baptized before, to tell the story of Acts chapter 8 verses 26 to 39 to another person, or to study the Bible every day. After making commitments, close the time in prayer together. Remember to pray for any specific commitments that have been made. Ask for God's help and for his blessing in obeying him. 